In this tutorial, we're looking at LifeCast's volumetric video player for Unreal Engine. Get the assets from the link in the video description and extract them on your desktop. There's a source folder containing some C++ code, and a content folder containing some shaders and a texture. Okay, let's start by creating a new Unreal project. We'll use the film and television template and start with it blank. Take note of what you name your project. We'll need this information later. Okay, we've got our new Unreal project, and when we press play, we see these weird circles. So let's get rid of those. That's better. Okay, now we're going to copy our shaders and textures that we just downloaded into the project by dragging them in. Uh, no. Okay, actually, no, we can't just drag them in. There's a different way we have to do this. So we're going to go into the content browser and then right click that and show an explorer to get to the content directory. And then we can copy our files in directly there. Just paste them in there, and now they actually appear in our Unreal project. So we got two shaders and a texture. One shader makes up the foreground of the scene, and the other makes up the background. So we're just taking a look at the blueprints for these shaders really quick. We need a mesh for the shaders to be rendered on, and we're going to generate the mesh using C++. So for this, we're going to make a new C++ class and choose Actor, and then we'll name this LifeCast mesh gen actor. It has to be named that, exactly. Now we're editing the code in Visual Studio. Notice the part that is highlighted right here comes from the name of the project, and so if we change this code by pasting in some new code, we have to make sure that this highlighted part stays the same. So we're swapping in the code we just downloaded, but we're keeping that one piece the same as we do so. So we'll copy and paste it in there, and then we can delete the old code. And for lifecast mesh gen actor.cpp, you can just copy that in directly with no modifications. Now we're going to compile by pressing Control shift b and we'll get an error message about the procedural mesh component. So to fix this, we need to go to our project file and add this as an additional dependency right here. Now if we compile again, we shouldn't get this error anymore. Back in Unreal Editor, go to the C++ classes and drag an instance of the LifeCast Mesh Gen Actor class into the scene. Rename it LifeCast Mesh Gen Actor Foreground. We need to point this script at the materials for the foreground and background that we defined in Blueprints, but the property is missing until we click the Compile button. And then once we've done that, we can scroll down and see the LifeCast mesh gen actor component and change that to have the foreground material. Now let's play the scene. Hmm, something doesn't look right. I think we need to delete the floor and then let's also look at the initial position of the camera defined by player start and make sure that that's at 0, 0, 0 and try playing again. Okay, that looks better. Notice that we can see some white showing through into the background, because this is just the foreground layer. So we're going to drag in another instance of the LifeCast Mesh Gen Actor into our scene, and this time we're going to rename it uh, with the suffix background. And then we'll scroll down and set the material to be our background material. Also make sure to set its position to 0, 0, 0. And that's it. Now we can press play and we'll see a 3D photo that we can fly around in. Next, we're going to use the same setup for volumetric video. 
there's a link to download a sample volumetric video file in the description, and you can make your own videos using LifeCast's tools. To play the volumetric video in Unreal, we just need to render the video into the texture used by our materials. We're mostly following this tutorial from Unreal's site. Check the description for a link. We can skip to step 4. Right-click in the Content Browser, and then choose Media, then File Media Source. Rename that to Sample Video. Edit Sample Video and choose the path to our H.264 video file. Now on to step 6. Right click, choose Media, then Media Player. Check the box for Video Output Media Texture Asset, and then click OK. My player underscore video is now the video texture that we want to pass to our materials. But before we do that, we're going to go edit my player and just make it so that the video loops. So we'll open that up and check loop. We're going to skip the parts of the tutorial about creating a mesh and a material to draw this video texture, because we already have a mesh and a material. Instead, we're going to go into our blueprints and edit the texture objects and then choose our source to be my player video instead of the bitmap that we had before. And we need to do this for both blueprints, one for the foreground and one for the background. So this is how we get the video into our shaders. Step 12 of the Unreal tutorial covers playing sound. We leave this as an exercise to the reader. We're almost ready to see our volumetric video. We just need to start it playing when the application starts. Click the Blueprints button and then Open Level Blueprint. Create a new variable by clicking on the plus button on the left and name it Media Player and then choose the type Media Space Player. Now you need to press the Compile button in order to get another property to show up in the editor. In the new property that just appeared, select My Player. Hold Control and drag the Media Player variable from the left side toolbar into the Blueprint workspace to create a new instance of it. Create an event begin play. Drag a connection from the media player out into the workspace, and then search for Open Source. You won't find the right node unless you're already looking from a connection. Create this Open Source node and connect the media player to its target and the event play to its trigger. Also in its media source, select the sample video asset. Now we're finally ready to see our volumetric video rendered in 3D in Unreal Engine. We have a living 3D environment suitable for virtual production. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit lifecastvr.com.